What's up everybody, this is 480, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV! Well, the last episode we made it as far as Damn Cyan, and uh, let's... What's going on? It's the Red Wings. Oh crap. That's bad. That's very bad. I hope we weren't in that mess of fire pixels. Okay, we're still alive. Good. Let's see how bad it is. Uh, he's dead. He's dead. The c crystal st stolen. Chris, wait, there was a crystal here, and they stole it. Oh crap, that's bad. The red wings. Yeah. I wonder who their captain is now that Cecil's gone. I think all these guys are all dead, and, uh... I I've got to make it to the healing pot above. There's a healing pot above? I could use some healing myself. Actually, right quick, I want to do something. You know what? I don't like Telaware and all these stuff. I'm gonna take it off. Just cause I can. I also want to rearrange my item for a second here. I want to bring the sort all the way up here. You can move the sort in the little trash can. There, now I can sort my items with relative ease. The red wings. Yeah, I know. Alright, there's a treasure chest, and it contains a tent. Uh, which way did I come in? Hey, there's a girl. I wonder... Don't tell me. Ish! Ish! Anna! I knew it. Who's that? You! You're that bird! Um, yeah, I'm not gonna repeat that. But Anna's dead because of you! Huh? Alright. This is a scripted battle. This is an automatic battle. I'm not actually controlling Tella. How could you do this to my daughter? No! Wait! And, uh... Wait! Man. Now you... Listen to me, please! Wait for it. Wait for it. Shut up! You spoony bird! Please! I'm glad that the JE2 translations kept that line in, because it's an awesome mistranslation. There's pain! And there's pain! I was... You was what? Please, stop! Wait, what? Anna's alive? Or is she dead? Dead or alive? Anna, you're still alive! Father, he... Gilbert is the Prince of Damsayan. Well, who didn't see that one coming? In order to hide his identity, he came to Capo as a bard. Forgive me for running away, Father. I love Gilbert. Gobez is control. Gobezi is controlling the Red Wings. Who is Gobezi? I don't know, but his name is not Gobezi. His name, everybody knows in American media, his name is Golbez. Why do they call it Golbezi? Whatever. I don't know. He was cloaked completely in black. Unbelievably powerful. Why did the Red Wings bomb the castle? They pillaged the castle in order to steal the crystal. My mother, father, dead. And Anna shielded me from arrows. Arrows? They look more like bombs to me. Yeah, and I'm not going to call him Golbezi. I'm going to call him Golbez, as he was intended to be called in the American versions. He means that much to you? Father, please forgive me. I love Gilbert. Hey, uh, yeah, you told us that earlier. Anna! 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 Oh, sad music. Who is this Golbezi person? No, I'm actually going to call him Golbez. 
He came recently to Baron and took control of the Red Wings. I can only think that he's using them to gather crystals. <laughs> Whoa, he's gonna cry. Pitiful fool! Crying won't bring Anna back! Kobe's of Baron! I will avenge Anna! Tell you can't do that alone. What? Ow! I don't need your help! I'll kill Gobez on my own! Tella left the party. Uh, he was a crappy character anyway. <laughs> Anna! Blah. Oh my gosh. Would you quit crying? You're acting like a little kid. Cry, baby! <laughs> You're a man, aren't you? A grown-up, so act like one. You're not the only one who has lost a loved one. Right here. Yeah, see? She knows this. She lost her mom. All you did was lose your girlfriend. You may be right. I'm just a weakling. In that case, I'll stay here with Anna forever. I don't care about anything else. Hey, 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 hey. Quit, quit being emo, okay? That, that's my job. I'm the protagonist here. Nah, I'm just kidding. He actually has a reason to be... Devastated right now, but oh! You're not the only one sad here. Do you think staying here and crying like a child would make Anna happy? Besides, right now we need your help. Uh, no, we don't. We don't really need his help. We help you? I'm Cecil. A friend of mine collapsed with near Capel, stricken with desert fever. We need the light of the desert to cure her. Moreover, we, moreover, we need your help. My help? Right, for Rosa's sake. Please. He doesn't even know Rosa, dude. You think that's gonna persuade him? This Rosa person seems like someone important to you. You shouldn't lose the one you love. The light of the desert is created from the secrets of the antlion when it lays its eggs. Its cave is to the east, but we must cross a shallow stream to get there. There is a hovercraft in Damsion that can cross the shallows. It can also cross the shoals back to Capo. Come on, let's hurry. Prince Gilbert, join the party. That's actually Edward from in the American versions. His name is Edward. But yeah, uh, well, hang on. He's going to come back, take one look at Anna. Farewell, Anna. And like all good RPG characters, when she dies, she vanishes into thin air. Kind of like Obi-Wan Kenobi in uh, Yoda. And no, that's not the only Star Wars reference you'll see in the Final Fantasy series. Now, before I check out this hovercraft, let's uh, let's get back in here. Yeah, that's obviously why I removed Tella's equipment, because he left us. And we got Gilbert, who, in American versions, his name is actually Edward. So we, we, we lost one crappy character in exchange for another crappy character. Let's take a look. Okay, his weapon is a harp. He's got the plume, plumed hat, the poet. Uh, is there any difference between the poet and the leather? Not noticeable. The ruby ring, which is actually better than the iron bangles. That, that's good. Um, yeah, he sucks. <laughs> he's he's got extremely low HP. It will uh, pick up faster than right is. His defense sucks, uh, so I'm actually going to put him in the back row for now. Every time he gets into battle, his weapon, by the way, sucks. It's very hard to hit. Whenever he gets in the battle, if he gets below, like if his HP gets into the criticals, he automatically hides, in which case he'll just disappear, he can't be hit, and he can't attack. Now, when his turn comes up, you will you can either stay hidden, or you can actually come out of hiding like a man. Um, and you also, in in battle, you have the option to uh, make them hide anyway. So We're the only survivors. Maybe we can retreat to Capo. We can use the hovercraft and go through the shallows by the west shore to get there. Uh, you can't use the hovercraft because I just got it. Perhaps we can retreat to Fable. Oh, I wonder where that is. But the path to Fable is through Mount Hobbs has been blocked by a thick layer of ice brought from frozen winds. Oh, well, so we're blocked out. And this must be the healing pot that we were told about. Alright, your HP status has been restored. HP and status have been restored. 
So I got my HP back, and if I had any status ailments, which I don't, they would have been restored. And this over here restores my MP. Or Rydie's MP, she's about the only one that has anything. But yeah, Gilbert, Edward, whatever you want to call him, he sucks. So, so we're, we're really just getting the best party in Final Fantasy IV, aren't we? I mean, we're just getting the best characters. Cecil's like the only one that has any potential. Alright. And we got a name now. Golbez. I wonder who he is. We'll have to, uh, we'll have to consider him. Now, uh, what's cool is I can, well, you can take this across these shallows like so. There you go, see? So yeah, I'm not getting any random battles while I'm on the hovercraft, but yeah. You can't actually go over water, but when you hit the shallows like that, like shallow water I guess, maybe, I don't know. Yeah, so you can ride across it, so that's cool. Anyway, this is our destination. Um, if you go... This leads you to Mount Hobbs, but we can't get there because there's a wall of ice blocking. So... So don't worry about that. Let's enter this. Let's save. Oh, crap. Let's show how awful uh, Gilbert is. Oh wow, he actually hit the guy. That's pretty cool. Yeah, he has the sing command, which, uh, depending on his weapon, which he only has two weapons in the entire game, uh, allows him to uh, cause some status ailments, I think. Basilisk. That's a new enemy. Awesome. Let's take out the goblins first. And I do believe um, the medicine command is sort of a... Oh, critical hit. Nice. I believe the medicine command... Uh, it's sort of like using a potion, but it's divided among it's divided among all your party members. And it's not an actual potion, you won't lose it from your inventory. But, uh, in fact, I actually think I'm going to use that right now, because, uh, if I don't, um, eventually Edward will start, or Gilbert will start hiding. Now, I'm going to, I'm going to change his name to Edward next time I see it named anyway, because I'm going to just call him that anyway, instead of calling him... Gilbert. And we killed the Basilisk. There we go. Yeah. Enemies in here are pretty generic. Spiderweb. I believe that casts slow on your enemies. And it does, and I don't like it. I never even explained slow and speed in haste. They, uh, supposed to speed up your ATV bar, at least the, uh, uh, what, what you call it is, haste is supposed to speed up your ATV bar, Let's see if I can sing these guys for something, haste is supposed to, okay, lure song, I don't know, I think that's supposed to confuse him, but it doesn't work, okay, kill him, haste is supposed to speed up your ATV bar so it refills faster, and, uh, the, uh, did Rydia just kill that guy? He must be vulnerable to ice. Oh, I have a better idea next time I run into those guys. I forgot they're weak to ice. Slow is supposed to slow down your ATB bar, so your turn comes up. Uh, takes longer to come up. Doesn't seem to work the way it's supposed to in this game. I don't even know if I'm going the right way. Goblins. Goblins. I forgot that whatever enemy was weak to ice. I'm gonna remember that. Goblins, the only enemy that Gilbert can kill in one hit. <laughs> uh, I hope you like this dungeon music because you're gonna hear it a lot. Got a tent and a potion. Anything? Anything? There's a 
rock blocking my path. Oh, a new goblin. I don't think there's anything too special about him. I keep forgetting to use... Oh, wow. Awesome. Here, let's see how effective ice is against this guy. I keep forgetting to use ice. That's actually not bad. So he's got more HP than a normal goblin. Domovoy, I think is how you call him. But he's still pathetic. There is a, a goblin summon, and I don't remember how you get it, but there's supposedly it can be dropped by a certain enemy, and Rydia can learn the Goblin Summon, which basically would call a, a goblin. I'm not going to go for it because I don't think it's terribly useful. Uh, which way do I go? Mm. Surprised! Uh, I haven't really had this, have I? This means that the enemy's got the edge on me. They, uh, you can see they, uh, well, each got an attack before I could move, and by the time, here, let's, there we go, let's do medicine. Okay. See, like, even that medicine thing isn't even all that good, so he's a, he's, not only is he a sucky offense character, he's a sucky healer. Why did we bring him along again? Wait, did she just get the goblin summon? Let's go to the... Oh my gosh, she just got the goblin summon. That's not... Was not planned at all. <laughs> Alright then. Um, I'll never use it, but okay. Got that on camera, that's awesome. I didn't I was not planning on that. Is there anything up there? Or that's how I came in. Alright, let's take these guys out. Here, um, we got the darn thing, so let's actually use it. Let's use it against him. Let's see what it does. I've never actually used it before because of Goblin Punch! Yeah, fine. Now you see why I don't care. The ice rod is much better, but okay. There's another rare summon like that that you can get uh, from... Well, I, I guess I won't say it because we haven't gotten that far yet, but yeah. That, if, if you want to get the goblin summon, I guess this is the best place to do it. And I don't even know what I just got. This would be the best place to do it, but it's random. So keep that in mind. I'm seeing if there's any other secret areas. Oh! Alright, now I, now I can actually... I'm going to really get these guys now. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out that guy. And have Cecil sort of wail on this guy. I think that will be the best plan of attack. These guys might petrify you if you leave them. I feel like they petrify you if you leave them, if you leave one of them by itself. Gilbert gained a level. See, eight, so his, his HP does level up faster than Rydia, but he's just, I don't like him. And I don't think, I've never, ever heard of anybody who did. All right, um, maybe he'll be useful here. Okay, actually, he's getting beat up, so, uh, I wasn't supposed to sing, I was supposed to, uh, use medicine, because he's about to, okay, no effect. Crap. I screwed up. I screwed up. What I'm trying to do here... I can't remember if I'm supposed to use fight or sing. 
Let's try singing it and see what happens. Because I want to say... Song of Silence. Awesome! Whether that does any good or not, I don't know if she has spell. Okay, I don't know if she has spells or not. But Silence will... Think of it this way. When you, when you cast a spell, you have to say the spell. Well, Silence, sometimes translated as Mute, prevents you from talking. Antarctic Wind. Well, if you can't talk, you can't say the spell. If you can't say it, you can't cast it. And that's how it works. Alright, now let's have uh, Gilbert do the medicine thing. Just to keep his HP up. It's a nice way of keeping HP up, not so much for healing purposes. Well, I mean, it's not the best way of healing, but it's, it's free, you know? And it'll keep Gilbert from hiding. And I got another golden needle. Well, if I ever get petrified... Uh, is this the right way? Yes, it is. The Lamia Harp. Now that is for Gilbert. It's the only harp, it's the only other weapon he'll get. It's his only upgrade. He's, uh... I'm just gonna go ahead and say it now. He's not gonna be in our party for a very long time. Thank goodness. What? Oh crap, which way do I go? Oh! I want to get that chest up there. Alright. Same strategy as before. Cecil is going to wail on the basilisk. Well, oh crap. I was not expecting him to take him out in one hit. Oh, let's sing. Let's sing him to sleep. Lullaby, that should put him to sleep. I don't know if he's... he might be immune to sleep. Well, I'm just gonna wake him up anyway, so... <laughs> I wake him up and kill him. And Gilbert gained a level. That should put his HP at about 90. Yeah. Yeah. Copper Hourglass, what does that do again? Copper, 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 copper. Where's my copper? Um. Did I not get it? Because, like, I don't see it any... Oh, there it is. Oh, it stops time. Yeah. It's useless. I just can't remember if I'm supposed to go this way. I, I, I'm sick of the battles. I'm actually trying to figure out which way I'm supposed to go. Same strategy as before. Actually, I'm gonna have him use a freaking medicine. Yeah, the reason I don't multi-target with the ice rod with these guys is because it's not quite strong enough to kill both of them. In fact, it's not nearly as strong enough to kill both of them. So... Medicine. No, 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 you just... you just do that. Oh, crap! Yeah. Since Gilbert's HP is in critical, probably next round he'll go uh, into hiding. Okay, got a save point. I don't think I need it. Got a phoenix down. Got an ether. And an emergency exit. What the emergency exit does is it lets me well, exit out of here. Escape from the dungeon. That's timely considering that uh, Tella just left me, so I don't have uh, exit anymore. I do have teleport, but I don't, or Dejon, but I don't have teleport. Okay, now I'm good. Ah. Oh crap, I just realized freaking Gilbert. Ah. I hate Gilbert so much. So he just hid. Now let's click the show command so he'll come back. And, uh... And he hit again. Idiot. Can I heal him while he's... Of course not. Let's try to get him to show. 
Ah! Screw it. That didn't work at all. Oh my gosh. Okay. I think he still gets experience when he hides. Alright, let's, uh... Let's heal the thing up. Because he'll, uh... He'll just do that again if, if uh, next time we get into a battle. And I actually think he is useful against those Lamias. Got another spider web. Sandworm? Uh oh, surprise. Sandworm? What, what's up with these guys? Ah. Uh, dark. Or, yeah, just fight. Ah! Uh, let's see, maybe, maybe this will actually work. Oh, he's confused! Nice! Oh my goodness! He did something useful! Let's wait for him to do something. Yeah, confused essentially means, uh, when you're confused, you attack your party members or yourself. And when an enemy is confused, they attack either themselves or their party members. He's not really wanting to do anything now, so like, oh, whirlwind, awesome! Oh, maybe not so awesome. Huh, I wonder what that did. I don't know if that's like the tornado spell. Got a high potion. I don't know if that's the tornado spell or not, because if that is, that reduces your HP down to extreme critical. Uh, there's nothing over there. But it said he only had one, so I don't know. Whatever. It don't matter. Ah! Uh, medicine. Ice rod! By the way, speaking of uh, how I removed Tella's equipment, and obviously earlier in the game I had removed uh, Kane's, I have been informed that I should have held on to Kane's equipment. That at some point it will in fact save Cecil's life. Well, I don't think it will. I have played the game enough, well not enough, but I have played the game, and uh, it, as far as I know, it's never needed. I'm gonna I'm gonna run from these battles because I don't think there's anything down here. Yeah, it's just a big circle, so let's uh, just go straight down. I have another plan regarding that instance where Seek or Kane's armor I suppose could have been useful. This is the Ant Lion's lair. Oh yeah? Uh oh. Don't worry, the ant lion is tame. He won't hurt a human. I'll take the light of the desert. Ah! Oh, I knew it. He's not human. Let's go, Radia. He's not human because that thing tried to hurt him. Nah. You know, whenever they say it's not going to bother you, it always does. Uh, is there anything about this guy that is... Oh, crap. He does that. Okay, good to know. So he counters with Counter Horn, and he seems to, he he likes to attack right here. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's try. Uh, I believe the Chocobo Summon is the best way to go. I have Cecil defend for a second, yeah. Let's use the medicine. There we go. Ah, oh, sure, why not? Da -da -da -da. Yeah, you can, you can, you can do that. Ah, uh, I think, I think Choco was the best way to go. Medicine again, if you don't mind. Ooh, yeah, definitely. Ninety-nine. Ooh, hit right in. I don't like it when he hits right in. Alright, she's got enough MP for this. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, this is a pretty boring boss, to be honest. Ow! You see how much damage that did to him? Okay. Is that... Alright, got him. Yeah, pretty easy. Right, you gained a level! Woohoo! You received the light of the desert! It can't be! Why did the ant lion... The number of monsters have been increasing as of late. Formerly tame monster animals have started to attack humans. I don't know if this is an omen. Let's get Ro to Rosa quickly! Right, let's go. Um... Now, what you're supposed to do is walk out of here and fight some battles and gain some experience, but I think the experience really sucks in this area, to be honest, because it's pretty generic enemies. You saw, most of them were goblins. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and cast that, or use that emergency exit. I won't need it again, but I, I do think it's... There are other times where you want to walk out of an area just to get the experience, but I don't think this is a one of those times. That area, it's just not worth it. Oh, what, what do we got here? Sandworm. First strike. Awesome. Dark wave. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say... I didn't expect to see one-shot him. I was gonna... Well, whatever. Alright, now what we wanna do... I know what you're thinking. You're thinking... Oh, we gotta get back to Capo. Oh, crap. That means we gotta go all the way through the, uh... What was it? The... That... That cave. Or not, because uh, I actually, actually know what. Hold on. First off, pay no attention. I'm not doing anything relevant to the plot. I'm just going to restore my HP and MP. I was going to do it at Capo, but then I realized I could do it for free here. All right, let's get out of here. Take advantage of that. Whenever you get like a free restoration like that, take advantage of it. Now look at this. There's some shallows here. And we're back at the Capo Desert. So we just went, we just skipped that entire cave area. So, cool. Yeah, you can ride around in this water for all the good it does. All right. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, let's, uh, Let's go find... Actually, you know what I want to do? I want to find... I don't remember... Is there a naming way in here, or... Hey, was I ever up here? Yeah, I was up here. Come on. Here we go. I, I want, I'm, I'm not sure... Yeah, there he is. Yeah, I want to change... I want to change... Gilbert's name... To Edward... Not that Gilbert's a bad name or anything, it's just I'm used to calling him Edward. There we go. Whoop. Whoop. And at least Gilbert and or Edward are names that actually are around. This is one of the few Final Fantasy games where all, half the characters actually have names that I've heard of before. i never heard anybody named Rydia. I've never heard of anybody named... Well... Uh, so far, that's all we've got, but... Oh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Touch the fire, touch the fire. Gotta do that every single time. All right, now here's what happens. Rosa. Unless you select something, I'm going to select the desert light. <clears throat> Let's see what happens. You shine the light of desert on Rosa. Oh. Come on, baby. Cecil, you're here. I'm so glad. Why did you come here? I heard you died in the earthquake at Miss, but I didn't believe it. Don't worry. I'm here. Rosa, who is Golbez? The King of Baron called him to take your place as commander of the Red Wings. Ever since he came, King Baron has given more and more authority to him. Golbez is certainly the one influencing the king to gather the four crystals. 
the water crystal from Mysidia, the fire crystal from Damcyan, the wind crystal from Fable, and the earth crystal from Toroya. Toroya. He's taken the fire crystal. This is Edward, the prince of Damcyan. A minute ago he was Gilbert, but thanks to the naming way, now he's Edward. It's because of him that we were here able to heal you. But beyond that, he's not really good for anything else. And this girl is right it from Mist. Are you okay? I'm better, thanks. If Damcyan's crystal has already been taken, then Fable is next. We can't let this happen. Cough, cough. <coughs> I, I'll cough. Rosa, don't overdo it. We'll go to Fable. By the way, but the way to Fable over Hobbs Mountain is frozen over. Rydia, can you cast fire? No, I can't. Huh. If you're a summoner, you should be able to cast a basic black magic spell like fire. That's not how it worked in the previous game. At least I don't think it did. It's not how it works in Final Fantasy V, I know that much. Rosa, you must rest. I'll be alright. And, and I'm a white magician. I won't be a burden. Cecil, Rosa wants to be with you. Alright, Rosa. Let's go together. It's night already. We'll leave tomorrow morning. For the time being, just get some rest tonight. Cecil, thank you. And white magician Rosa joined the party. We finally got a character who's actually really good. Well, right now she's not that good, but she will be good. She's a white mage. She's the healer. That night. She's going to keep us from dying. Uh, Edward has a problem that a lot of RPG characters do. In the middle of the night, when you're tasked with saving the world, you just can't sleep. So, we go outside, and nothing like a good bit of music, so he's going to go play the harp. Why, why does why does the sucky character have to be the, 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 the musician? That sucks. I don't really go for harp music, but... Anna, why did you have to leave me? Uh-oh, crap. Ah! Was his music really that bad? I mean, heck, it's better than Miley Cyrus. Oh! Be brave! Yeah, if you, um... Anna! A lot of times you'll miss that enemy. You're not as weak as you think you are. Yeah, yes, you are. You're horrible. A lot of times you'll miss that enemy, but when you finally do land a hit on him, that's when Anna appears. Even though she's dead. And I got lucky and landed the hit on him right away. So yeah, just attack and you're gonna hit him eventually. You know, if his HP gets too low, just use medicine, I guess. Believe in yourself! Every time you land a hit... Okay, she's gone. I'll do it, Anna! I'll fight this suh again. Yeah, Final Fantasy is bad about having characters appear after they died. Especially Final Fantasy V. Ah, oh, that hurt. Not the only time where it really made any sense would have been Final Fantasy VI. But okay. Got 100 gil and 800 experience. Edward gained a level. And of course the one time where it, everybody wanted it to happen didn't happen and that was Final Fantasy VII. Anna! Edward, I must leave. My time has come to become one with an eternal spirit. Anna, please don't go! She's gonna become one with the Force. Don't you, don't, don't you get it? Edward, be brave. You must not let Gobez gather the crystals. You love me. Now give that love to the people of this Earth. And she's gone. Anna, I'll fight, but courage. Anna, what should I do? Why is my harp still playing even when I'm not playing it? <laughs> and there we go. Character development for Edward. Gotta give him some character development. Alright, let's go. I'm glad you're better. For a short time, I almost felt like I had a daughter of my own. Please visit us again. Okay. There's no point in ever visiting this place again. 
So you're that Cecil who she was calling for. Take care of her. Well, if she's the w white mage and she's the healer, she's going to be taking care of us. Speaking of, let's see what she's got. Ah, uh, yes. Now, most Final Fantasy games, typically the white mage can only equip a staff or something like it. They do variations. Now, Rosa is a unique white mage for the fact that she can equip something besides a staff. A bow and some arrows. We got iron arrows. In this game, you have to buy arrows separately than the bow, and you can run out of them, so, you know, that's something to keep in mind. I don't think the bow and arrows right now are too useful. So what I'm going to do, since uh, she has the bow in one hand, the arrows in the other, that doesn't really make sense. You usually put the arrows on her back, but okay. To, I want to de-equip, I want to remove the, the bow, and then arrows, just go ahead and give her the staff. The staff that Tella had, because I think it's better than, than the arrows. And is there anything else I can give her? Does the poet do anything to her? I doubt it. And yeah, beyond that, there's nothing else. So, okay. Ah, uh, uh, however, you can see, um, uh, since she's a white mage, and she's going to be using the staff for right now, which is not meant to be offensive, so, and if she was using arrows, they're long-range weapons, so there's no need to keep her in the front row. Uh, you never keep your white mage in the front row. You, typically, you don't usually keep your white mage in the front row. A couple exceptions, but in this game, no. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rearrange my party like so. So I just put Cecil in the back, and I put Rydie in front, now I'm going to move Edward, but uh, 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 I didn't want to do that. There we go. Let's get Rosa back in the front row. <laughs> Wait, I just put the crappy characters in the front and Cecil in the back. What's up with that? Change. Look at that. Nifty. Now he's in the front and they're all in the back. Honestly, I... Oh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Honestly, I kind of like that row system. It's awesome. They never... They didn't do it anymore. But whatever. In most Final Fantasy games, you just... You kind of... Everybody has their individual rows, but I like how it's sort of interconnected in this game. And I don't think I need... I'm not sure if I need those iron bangles or not, but I'm going to go ahead and sell the bow. I'm going to sell the spider webs. The Hermes shoes. The dreamer. The poet. The Antarctic winds. I'm, do I want to sell the rod or not? I think I will sell the rod. And um, I probably should hold on to the copper hourglasses, but I'm going to get rid of them anyway. And I don't think I'll need Cecil's uh, old equipment, so just get that away. Bomb fragment, I... You know, I'll hang on to that. I'll find a use for it. I don't think I need the Maiden's Kisses anymore, so sell those all. I got them for nothing, but they were, it was just there because. The dry ether, that's sort of like the high potion version of an ether. It restores more HP than whatever. Yeah, everything else I'll keep. I don't know if, oh yeah, I want to get rid of the arrows, so what I'm going to do is, uh, I've got 50 of them, so let's just sell all 50 of them at once. Bam. Everything else is good. I don't think I need anything else. I want to demonstrate one battle with Rosa just to show something. Let's walk around for a second. There we go. Alright. Okay, you do something. Hey, you do something. Uh, lure song, no? Is that supposed to confuse or what? Uh, and she's got that, whatever. Alright. Now you see Rose has got the fight command, the white, prayer, aim, and item. Um, white is, of course, white magic. Prayer, it's some sort of cure spell that is divided against among everybody, so it's sort of like the medicine for Edward, although it does use MP. It's better than medicine, but it's still not that great. I'd rather just use good old-fashioned cure magic. 
I'm, I, you know, I don't even know if it does use MP or not, but whatever. And I didn't even take a look at what white magic she has, so I'll have to take a look at that in a second. As for uh, aim, which is not usable right now, that's only usable when you have arrows and a bow. Because the problem with arrows, they are long range, but they do tend to miss a lot. So, uh, so, but uh, if you use aim, um, she'll she'll fire the arrow at the enemy, and it's a 100% hit rate every single time. So there's never any need for her to ever use the fight command. I mean, if she has a staff, she's not going to do good at it. And if she has arrows, you better use the aim command. It, it, it yeah, that's about it. So um, I'll just go ahead and show the fight command right now. And, you know, it's not good. It's no good. So just don't worry about it. Okay, let's see. Let's see what kind of magic she actually has. She has a cure, hold, Libra. What's Libra? I don't remember what Libra is. Slow and sight. I'm guessing sight. Sight either cures. Let's find out what sight does. It either cures. I don't know. It does what the uh, dwarf bread does. Okay, that's what sight does. Slow. Old. Yeah, I don't know what Libra does. Well, since she has sight and I don't need the dwarf bread, I'm just going to go ahead and sell it. Uh, sell dwarf bread. I want to sort my items. So, yeah. Well, we got to... Well, we, we did pretty good in this episode. We uh, we didn't screw up like the last couple episodes. We uh, we got ourselves a hovercraft. We got a crappy character. We lost a crappy character. We learned of a guy named Gold Bezzy. And most importantly, we got a pretty girl in our party. She's a white magic casting woman. Okay. <laughs> let's, uh, let's save here and then call it a day. So uh, I guess the next thing we gotta do is go to Mount Hobbs and figure out how to get past an unblockable wall of ice since Rydia is too much of a scary cat, or is not really a scary cat, uh, she's too depressed to go cast fire herself. Oh, in the next episode, I am 480. See you later.